I've been an, a, um, an artist for the last, um, I think this is my 17th year. I, um, so I just make my whole living just from um, doing paintings at the moment, or in the last few years anyway. It's been, all my work is mainly done on a commission basis, so it's um, quite a neat lifestyle. I um, lived in Kawaro from the age of about four until 18 or 19 um, and then I even went back a couple of times uh, to get work as a young man. My family moved to Kawaro from uh, Finland when Tasman Pulp and Paper Mill were first um, starting up the mill they required uh, people that were au fait with the machinery to, to go to the town and um, and to help get the machinery up and running and uh, because a lot of the uh, pulp and paper machines and bits and pieces came from Finland my dad was contracted to come out to New Zealand and to um, help start up so the whole family moved out and that's why I was four when we came from Finland. We used to call Tasman Pulp and Paper Mill Uncle Tasman because uh, as a young man of course you know I would leave the town and go and have adventures elsewhere. I uh, had a few jaunts overseas and this sort of thing and it was always sort of handy to go back to Kawaro and um, get a job with uh, at Tasman. I I've been quite saddened um, when I hear about what's happening in Kawaro or what has happened in, in Kawaro over the years. Um, I, I guess a from my understanding, a lot of the um, trouble started when uh, a lot of men lost their jobs in the mill. I've heard a lot of stories about unemployment and the problems that unemployment causes, um, violent episodes. It saddens me because when I grew up in Kawaro, it was paradise. It was the best place on earth. It was almost utopian in many ways and um, I'm just so grateful to have grown up in that healthy environment, a cosmopolitan environment. It was fantastic. I think the outside world's perception of the town isn't accurate. People that I knew that um, still live in the town are extremely caring and uh, fun-loving people. The town has a heart, it really does. It um, just needs a little bit of uh, heart medication, I think. Look, I have so many uh, wonderful uh, memories of growing up in Kawaro. Just look at the environment for a start, you know. You've got the river. When I was a kid, it was free access to the bush. Close by you've got the lakes, you've got a, the beautiful uh, Pacific Ocean, uh, Whakatani and Ahopi. Our childhood was spent outdoors, having these huge adventures. I have just so many cool memories and um, of fun, of groups of kids playing, and playing safely. I, I think that um, Kaurau's best feature is the fact that it's its location. It's located next to a beautiful river. There's beautiful forests and uh, native bush close by. It's like heaven on earth in some ways in, in, in the way it's located. Growing up in Kawaro has probably been one of the biggest single influences on my whole life. Um, the reason I paint is to celebrate life, to celebrate the environment and that's the attitude that I grew up in Kawaro, just celebrating life every day, celebrating the environment around me. So, so like I said, even my work today is really based on that same philosophy where it's just a celebration of life.
Now, who could ask for more than that, really, where I love every heartbeat, every moment, every breath. And I think a lot of that is because that's how I learned to live. And thanks to Kaurau and the environment. I guess I feel pretty passionate about uh, growing up in Kaurau and the benefits of being brought up in, in that sort of environment and, and with the people. But I'm not the only one, you know. I don't know anybody that I grew up with that had, that have or hold bad memories of their childhood in that town. All of us are passionate about the place. There's a sort of a brotherhood or sisterhood amongst us that's, that will hold forever. Hi, I'm uh, Timor Ranelagh. I'm an artist. I am Kawarau.